If I'm doing your conflict, struggle and resolution structure, are those my themes? No, the, that's a really important question. So conflict, struggle, resolution is a framework. They are not the specific words that you use. They are guiding words that are meant to direct your attention to the relevant themes or ideas, okay? So by saying the first paragraph is conflict, conflict is not an idea. Conflict is just a prompt for you. I'm basically saying with that structure, what is the most relevant conflict that's established at the beginning of your text in the first third? What is the conflict? You don't need to use the word conflict. In fact, I would try and avoid it. But after I read your topic sentence, your first sentence of your first body paragraph, it should be clear to me how society or an individual is conflicted. It should be obvious that there's a conflict. I don't need to see the word conflict itself. You can try using that if you like, but that is not the idea or the theme. That is a, a guide for you to think about what is the core tension in the text. Write a sentence and a paragraph about that, okay? Struggle is saying, well, what's the struggle in response to that problem that you've just defined? Remember, you haven't used the word conflict. You've described and articulated a conflict. You've explained what that conflict is. And now you're going to say, well, what's the consequent struggle? Well, the individual responds by, or the individual is compelled to rebel against Big Brother, okay? If we're doing 1984 and we're using this structure of conflict struggle resolution, conflict could be about individual autonomy is subdued or repressed by, right? The corrupt motivations of a totalitarian state which is Big Brother. So you could use the word Big Brother or the totalitarian reign of Big Brother. There you go, that's a conflict. Then you would have the struggle. Well, the struggle might be, well, Winston attempts to rebel to preserve his autonomy. Okay, great. If we're talking about resolution, well, the, is there a resolution? There's not always a resolution, right? But you would say something like, Winston's attempt at rebellion is futile. It's pointless. It's hopeless. As he ultimately surrenders to Big Brother. However, the appendix, right? And you don't have to say the appendix in the topic sentence, but however, there remains a glimmer of hope. So why do I say there remains a glimmer of hope? Because of the appendix. You must read the appendix at the end of 1984 because it implies that it's not too late. And that's because Orwell is trying to urge us to take some action because he just showed what will happen if we don't. He showed us what can already happen, but he's saying, hey, it's not necessarily definite. Even though it looks like it's definite and we're doomed, the appendix suggests that it's going to take some more time, even beyond 1984, all the way up to 2050, to fully extinguish language and thought as we know it. So there's three pretty specific ideas for you to work with.